My name is Lana Massey, and I have been coming to Rock Point since the early part of 2007. I was raped when I was 12, and that pretty much set the, the tone for the next um, 30 years of my life. Um, I tried everything that I could possibly do um, or take to push that um, pain and hurt away. Um, and the guilt and shame was, it was killing me inside. A typical day for me in my addiction was um, wake up in the morning, um, have some alcohol to um, help with the shakes, and then I was um, also doing methamphetamine, so I would drink too much, and so then I would bring myself back up with methamphetamines, and then I would get too high, and then I would drink more, and it was just a balancing act day after day. Um, that day, on October 24th of 2006, my world came crashing to a needed bottom, which was um, my husband finding out about the drugs and, and so forth. And um, I clearly remember um, <laughs> him calling up on the phone and saying that um, I have found what I have found and um, you're done and you're, you're done with your kids, you're done, we're done. And I remember exactly where I was standing, which was on the front of our house, uh, in between the, the fence and the house. I felt completely numb, but with so much anxiety, it was almost as if the cells in my body had turned over. And, um, I hit the ground on my knees because I did not know at that time how it could have happened again. And I screamed out from the top of my lungs. The people in Care Chills probably heard me, for God to help me, um, please help me. How could this have happened? I was trying to bury the pain and the guilt and the shame of everything. <sighs> with that rape, with anything that I could. <clears throat> As if it, by the time I was 40 years old, and I never told a soul about it until I was 40, um, it had almost seemed like it was a different person that it happened to because I had buried it so far below the surface. Um, I knew that it happened to me, but it was so far gone that I didn't think about there was a gentleman that um, attended Rock Point that also went to a recovery group that I did. And he would badger me and ask me daily, you know, have I gone, have, have I came to the church yet? And, and just really bother me about that. And I was so sick of him bothering me that I didn't even wanna go to the place where we met for recovery because he was gonna ask me that I would go just so I could say to him, I went. The music touched my soul, made me feel that God was there, that God still cared, which I have not felt that maybe ever. So what God has done for me, um, through coming to this church is, and beginning a relationship with him and getting to know who he is and how he feels about me, he has taken away the shame, the guilt, um, the anger, um, the regret. That he was always with me my entire life he was with me. Through the bad, through the, through the good, through everything, he was by my side. I didn't know that, um, but now I do. <laughs> and, it, and 
the scripture is he, he wants good for you he will use your story for his purpose and um, now I feel very excited to tell my story because I'm being able to use that for God for um, his purpose and uh, I'm just very excited to, God can take all the brokenness that you're carrying and he will let you hand it over to him and he will he will allow you to use that if you trust him for his purpose so if God were sitting behind this camera right now what I would like to say to him is thank you for being by my side and thank you for protecting me and not not giving up on me because now I know that doesn't happen um, thank you for choosing me that I love him with everything in my heart and soul.